Hi, Shannon here from houseimprovements.com and in this video today I'm going to show you where your filter is on your front load washing machine and uh, why you should be draining it more often than you probably are. My uh, drain pump, uh, I've actually got a new one here, I've got to replace this drain pump and when I was investigating the situation I had I found out that my pump actually has a filter on the side here. It's totally not accessible without removing the, the back off my washer, so it's very inconvenient. But anyways, I, I found out that I do have a filter. Some of you may have access from the front of your machine or from a front panel, but on this uh, Whirlpool model that I have, I actually had to take the back right off to access it. Okay, so this is the pump that's underneath there that we'll show you a little more closely after. And this is where your filter is, your filter basket. So basically it just unscrews and then there's a basket inside there. And we're going to have a look to see what's in mine because uh, this sets, I'm not exactly sure, it's seven to ten years old and uh, I've never cleaned it. So let's have a look and see what's in there. Okay, so here's, here's the existing pump on my machine here, this whole unit. And that's what I've got to change, but first I want to just show you what's in the filter. So I'm going to, it's fairly tight, and I'm going to turn it here. I'm, you notice I've got a pan underneath because it's, there's going to be some kind of residual water in there. I'm expecting anyways, it looks like there is. It's, and you might not want to just pop it right off immediately in case there's an excess of amount in there, but it looks like this one doesn't have much in it. We haven't used it for a little while because it was leaking and I was waiting for new parts. And there's definitely something in there because it's even hard to get it out. That tray should slide right out of there. hear coins or something jiggling around in there but there's there's something actually holding it in there okay so we've pulled this pump out hopefully you don't have to go to this extreme but you could it's a fairly simple uh, removal and reinstallment uh, you can look for my replacing a pump on a front loading wash machine video to see how to take it out hopefully yours doesn't go to that though so we got this door out so far and it won't go in won't come out sort of thing and uh, I can actually see there's like a $10 bill in there for one thing if you can imagine I might get back my money on my pump by the time I drain this thing out so I'm just hoping that by taking it out I can get whatever is whatever is in the way there because there's you won't see it just yet, but uh, like there's there's stuff in there even I don't believe is in there. But I'm hoping that I can... There we go. So let's... Uh, so there, there's your filter. This is your filter, your screen or whatever. There's still something stuck in there. I don't even know what that is. You can see it's pretty gross. So at this point, once I dumped it out and got all the crap out of it, I would just take this and clean it up with a toothbrush and some water and vinegar maybe and uh, reinstall it. Maybe wouldn't be a bad idea to put a bit of Vaseline or something on that o-ring just to lube it up before you put it back in. Let's see what else we got in here. Still stuff in there. So that's pretty gross. You might want to uh, take your toothbrush and stuff into there too and clean it up. Can you see that? Does that help? No. It's uh, it's just black in there. Oh, there's my there's my hole. I can actually see light through there. Let me do this. Can you see the hole right through there? That was what was leaking. So, like I said in my other video, you'll see me changing this whole pump out for a new one. And that's where it was leaking here. So, okay, so we got that. What do we have in here? That is pretty gross. We've got we've got a Canadian ten dollar bill. That's uh, 
that's still ten dollars we've got some quarters hey one's even us i think that's us looks different than ours so that must be us we've got a dime look at this look at this dime it's been in there so long part of it's gone <laughs> it's actually eaten the dime off that's incredible uh, twist tie maybe S various different screws I don't even know what that is hair tie part of a carpenter's pencil here's another quarter uh, here's a what used to be a driver bit for your drill and it's so rotted off it's a point now I don't know what it was a Phillips or something just I would have never guessed there'd be this type of stuff in there, let alone like a $10 bill makes it all the way through there. I thought there might be a sock or something in there, but that's all the crud that was in my filter. So that's, uh, I don't know, seven to 10 years worth of stuff because I never knew it had a filter. So clean your filters. Okay, so uh, I think that was, it was definitely educational for me. I never expected we were gonna find all that in, in this filter. Um, so obviously it's worth cleaning your filter even even on mine where I've got to remove the back to even access it it's still worth it obviously it uh, catches a lot of junk so clean them out keep them clean like the video share it with your friends check out our other stuff